right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country, put it on his back, and rode it to super superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Nepal. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting! Out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, do not You ready? You ready? Let's go. Well, there could be few better backdrops for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. Every time you go to MSG, it comes with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. It's a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. It's beautiful. Well, Gregor's got the clinch game going early here tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. And there comes the separation now. 
A good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh. Check. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by McGregor? Right hand on point. Just missed with the leg kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Lead left by Connor. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. So we pull up the stats for you now. 32 total strikes have now landed for Connor McGregor. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Where are those at? Real quick leg kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? A oh, little single collar tie there. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Oh, big left! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Both guys landing big shots. Oh. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Watch single collar tie now. Big head kick land. Went for the inside leg kick. A massive knee lands from the side clinch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. The next with the right. Bleeding from his cheek now. Nice kick. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. And they clinch once again. Ooh, big shot lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Able to check that kick as well. Nice head kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Slip the left. What a round. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. 
All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Nice piece of a punch. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, Conor McGregor looking the part of mixed martial arts superstar as usual tonight. He has navigated the A-list celebrity status pretty well, all things considered. Everybody wants a piece of this guy, the talk shows. But one thing that always seems to be at the heart of Conor McGregor, the work ethic, the MMA discipline, he really has never win. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. You got to check these low leg kicks. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Pretty good right hand. Big kick land. And they separate. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbows inside, because otherwise, if you land once, that's gonna shut everything down. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, He's also keeping very busy. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here. And starting to find himself in the pocket. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Superman punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. That shot blocked by McGregor. That is a thudding leg kick. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just unable to quite find that range. to avoid the right. Out of range with that kick attempt. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh, big head kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Let him go. Single collar tie now. Just out of range with that right hook. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Hedging. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, collar tie. He lands a big knee to the body. Boy, Thai Plum. To the body. Conor McGregor gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Liver kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Punch over the top. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Oh, 
Single collar tie here. Oh, that big knee, knee there. That knee hurt him. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, that's a good strike there by McGregor. Able to check the high kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Got the single collar tie. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to his side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai. Oh! He's a club. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Big punch lands through the middle. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh man, head to land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Back and forth we go! And he comes through with a big knee. Powerful leg kick land. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, half guard form here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has sufficient options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, throw posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Try to establish that jab. 
Oh, McGregor's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh. Visibly limping here. 20 seconds left. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. McGregor gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on the way. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. More than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. <laughs> Digging kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big knee lands to the body. They're going at it now. Just missed on that spinning attack. A oh, little single collar tie there. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by McGregor. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Good punch land. Nice land there by Conor McGregor. You know, DC, he's got a great frame for this featherweight division. A very long, extended reach, and he uses it pretty well. Works off of that jab beautifully. And he is on point here tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Big power shot there. Big head kick land. McGregor's kick is blocked. Wild swing there. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fight over here team. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.